Welcome back everyone. Well, it's been an intense summer with extreme weather conditions across much of the country. Global's chief meteorologist Anthony Fernell joins us right now with a look ahead to the fall forecast. Good morning, Anthony. Thank you so much for joining us. No, good morning, Anthony. And yeah, the summer was a wild one for so many reasons. And one thing that is certain, I don't think there's been as much at stake for a fall forecast than there is this year with COVID-19. And of course, everybody wanting and in some cases needing to stay outside. We need nice weather for that. So that is what's at stake uh, this year, this time around. So I want to get into the details of what we can expect. But let's begin with a uh, West right now, because obviously a lot of people are dealing with uh, Pretty serious situation because of the smoke and the, you know, the air quality as a result because Vancouver was one of the highest or the worst in the world. Um, and obviously this is as a result of the, the wildfires south of the border. What impact are we seeing there and could this spread even further? Well, uh, we're already starting to see some high level smoke here across southern Ontario. It's blocking out the sun at times. So that is how extensive those conditions are. But this is high level. Meanwhile, when you're in Victoria, Vancouver, uh, over towards Kamloops, Kelowna, this is low level smoke and air quality issues. So air quality health index, which is something we use to measure the, the quality of the air. Anything above 10 is dangerous. And right now it's well above 10 in in Vancouver has been all weekend and it continues today. You combine that now with some smoke and fog mixture right at the low levels. This high pressure area is uh, going to keep that in place today. And then I think we're going to start to see some improvement as that smoke disperses and moves to the east. What they really need south of the border in Oregon and California is rain. And there's not a lot of that coming. So we may see bouts of smoke right into the fall. Unfortunately, OK, I want to shift as well to the hurricane season. This has been a record breaking season in many ways. Is this unprecedented? <laughs> Uh, it is unprecedented. We've never seen this many named storms. Uh, for those keeping track at home, Anthony, we're at the T name Teddy. Sally is what's going to be impacting the Gulf Coast tomorrow. We had uh, Paulette that was uh, moving directly over Bermuda. That happened last night as a hurricane. And of course, there are a lot of other systems that we're not even mentioning because they're going to stay out at sea. So a very active year. What's going to happen next? After two more names, we are going to go into the Greek alphabet. The last time that happened was 2005. That's the only other time. And it's never occurred in the month of September. And that's what we have uh, looking ahead. Now, these hurricanes hitting quite south, but how much of an impact are we seeing in Canada from uh, from these storms? Well, so far, very little. They could actually use that tropical moisture in Atlantic Canada. And I want to get to our fall forecast. So we'll take our weather system here and across much of the country, it is looking mild. And that's something that we've seen lately. We're getting a bit of a break now, and then we're going to get warmer conditions back in October for Ontario, Quebec and Atlantic Canada. So warmth there in the east, but we're also potentially going to see above normal rainfall. And some of that, that forecast has to do with the fact that there are these systems that should eventually make their way north. Hopefully no hurricanes like Dorian last year. Also notice in Vancouver and much of BC above normal precip. That is from La Nina later this fall as that storm track starts to take hold and will affect our pattern into the winter as well. All right, interesting. We'll uh, keep a very close eye. Anthony, thank you so much for this. Anthony Fernell, our chief meteorologist.